They have some food for us down the hall. James Gregory, our comedian <laughs> friend from Atlanta, every time I look down there in the food line, you are down there. Well, I'll tell you what, I think I've gained three or four pounds in the past two days. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked me, they said, James, I think you're putting on weight. I said, well, I just had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, it depends on what time of day you get back there, sometimes I'm the only one eating the real food. Uh, at lunch yesterday, they had the uh, sugar-free brand muffins. I asked the lady, I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> Sugar-free means it, it's not sweet. There's no vanilla chocolate frosting. There's no cream cheese in the middle. There's no jelly. That's what I used to call a rock, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed, and I learned in traveling, I, when I do my comedy shows, there's always another comedian on the show with me. And it's usually a guy that's much younger. Like age-wise, he's a generation behind me. And I don't know where in the dickens these young guys, I don't know where the mother was. I mean, these guys were not raised right. <laughs> I mean, they don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them don't even drink. Yeah. I mean, ain't that odd? <laughs> it's like working with little girls, really. I mean, <laughs> we go out to lunch. I'm embarrassed to go to lunch with them. I wouldn't be embarrassed if they were women. These are grown men in a public restaurant, a five-page menu, and what do they get? Tuna tomato. Tuna tomato. <laughs> <laughs> or an $8 Caesar salad. You think about this now. It's four ounces of romaine lettuce. Four ounces. And they go, it's just $7.95. Let's all get one. I'd get a whole bucket of chicken for eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's in, the, everybody's in this health craze now. The political correctness has even taken over our eating habits. Mm -hmm. I'm just not going to jump on that bandwagon. I mean, I went to the doctor. I had a complete physical from head to toe in 1968. Oh. <laughs> Why do I need a second opinion? I mean. <laughs> But, and, they, and they'll make fun of my food because while they're sitting there grazing around their lunch, they just graze and interrogate the waiter. Was this butter? Is this margarine? Was this fried? Was this grilled? Come on, eat. Just eat. <laughs> you know? <laughs> while they're going through all that, I'm sitting there with chicken fried steak, extra gravy, mashed potatoes, extra gravy, a lot of cornbread, a lot of butter, and I mean real butter. None of that little wimpy stuff, like, I can't believe it's not butter, butter. Come on. <laughs> and they also have, I can't believe it's not butter, butter spray. It's a butter <laughs> mist. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you all something. If your daughter is dating a guy who sprays his butter, <laughs> there's not going to be any grandkids. I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I come from a background. My, my mother used to say that an empty stomach is the devil's playground. You know, you know how some people say, I can't do so and so on an empty stomach. I can't do so and so on an empty stomach. My family, we can't eat on an empty stomach. <laughs> if we're awake, we're eating, you know. But those young guys I just talked about, they'll make fun of me. They'll point at my food. And they'll go, You know what that, you know what that greasy food's going to do to you? I'm like, yeah, fill me up. <laughs> I have to eat that way. I need to maintain my strength because I'm usually one of the pallbearers. <laughs> <laughs> when, when my healthy friends drop dead working out. <laughs> and we, we, all, we all know that does happen, you know. And we had a, a young fellow, a radio personality in Atlanta, Georgia, this reads on the news. He worked at a radio station. He dropped dead. He was 31 years old, 31. And he was, after work, he'd go to the gym and he'd work out. He was trying to press weight X number of pounds and had a heart attack. And they talk about what a tragedy that was. I'm thinking, well, you know, come on. You're lifting heavy stuff after you've punched out. Who would do that? I'm off work. Let me go lift something heavy. The reason I'm still kicking, because while he was doing that, I was laying on the couch watching Andy Griffith. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so you have to be careful. It's okay to take care of yourself, but don't get this extreme physical fitness. I got a tour. I, I name every tour. And this one is exercise can kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's only used all the time. But you've heard stories about some fellow who'll drop dead jogging. Drop dead jogging. Imagine that. He's got car payments of 300 a month. And the buffoon is out running. <laughs> and I've never heard a single story about anybody dropping dead, eating banana pudding, watching TV. You know, but... James Gregg.